Hello, I'm actually vlogging uh, before the day my vlog goes up, and I'm sitting outside right now trying to read the Hunger Games book, but as you all know, I can't read. Um, so I'm on page one, so spoiler alert for page one, um, but can we talk about the fact that Suzanne Collins is making Snow poor so I can feel bad for him and believe that he's the scrappy underdog? Um, even though, like, I know who he ends up, um... Look, Suzanne, as a poor, I know what you're going for, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> um, I do not feel bad for him, and I feel like this is going to turn into a poor, scrappy guy beats the odds, and I don't love it. Again, though, I'm only on page one. I'm probably judging this book way too soon, <laughs> but these are my page one thoughts. Tell me how me and Emily got to this mountain at fucking 8 a.m. And there's three other cars. And one of them is a white family with children. And the dad. He's wearing fucking <laughs> sandals. To climb a mountain. We're going to climb a fucking like, mountain. It's not just like a trail. Like you need to climb rocks at a point. And he's wearing sandals. Like slip-ons. There's no bag. They're not in adventure They're not mode. Chacos. <laughs> They're not Chacos. I'm so fucking mad that we didn't beat these fucking children. Fuck, they're just they're, they're literally flip flops. Actually wearing like they're literally cute ass Adidas. No, they're New Balance. Okay, they're like she's no. wearing like suede New Balance. I'm just mad that we didn't fucking beat this family. How now we're we not, not alone. Beat them? You're good. You can get up now. Don't fall off the mountain. I'm so afraid. <laughs> right, getting up's worse. You, <laughs> you did it. All right, you didn't. You didn't fall off the mountain. Now we gotta go up here. I don't know how the fuck we get up there. <laughs> That's not that hard. I'm so scared. Wow, we're almost there. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh, I'm filming! <laughs> Hello. So, I was gonna go outside on my little, like, step thing um, to vibe and read my book and drink sweet tea. Um, and then I saw my neighbor outside. So now I'm kind of just waiting for them to leave. <laughs> um, awkwardly. Even though, like, it doesn't really matter. I just, I don't want people to talk to me. That's, that's it. I just, I don't want people to talk to me. I think she's just, like, they have a garage um, with, like, storage space. I think she's just getting stuff, like, out of the garage. So she should be done and, like, bounce. Um, but we'll see. I just, I don't want anyone to talk to me. And I just don't, I want, I don't want to be perceived. I just want to sit and read my book and have no one talk to me. I really don't want anyone to talk to me. Update. I realized that was dumb. I'm just gonna go outside. Whatever. Also, man. My face be hella red. Y'all, I was just on Venmo um, requesting $5 for HBO. It doesn't really matter. But I want you to know that the app developers of Venmo decided that it was a good idea when they update their app to move the like button you press to get all of your like requests and incomplete like options from the left of the app to the right of the app. It's literally the same thing. You just moved it to a different fucking side. And now my muscle memory is all fucking confused and I keep clicking something else. Why the fuck would you move it over? Why? I just, why? What, what do you gain by putting it on the right? Especially because basically like, I feel like every like website and like app in the world has that feature on the left <laughs> like why why are you moving it over um so this just pissed me off this morning it's like 9 a.m and here i am super mad about um a user interface user interface for an app it's just it's stupid you gain nothing by doing it why the fuck are they doing this to me now i'm i hate it i feel like a boomer <laughs> Look, a friend.